Oh, you like my silly mm. problem. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move my. Uh, uh, ah, why is it? Why is it heavy? Jesus, Rosie. <laughs> why would you say? Ah, the dog. She gets jealous. She gets so jealous. Oh, your your mouth smells like beef. I'm talking to you, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Let's do some advice. Of, can you just kiss me because I've got dog stuff. I've got dog stuff on it too. So. <laughs> <laughs> right okay okay right advice of the week here we go okay my advice remember that if you're ever alone in the house there are two things you could do one of them is lock all the doors and make sure you're always safe and turn all the lights on and the other one is touch yourself i normally do both all right guys Rosie, mm. when was the first time in your life mm. that you hated yourself myself yeah yourself well, that's a really good it's deep. question. We're starting deep. Mm. Can I move this this way? A you can bit? do what you want, Rosie. You can do what you want. I hated myself. When do you really think. hate yourself, Rosie? I think that all throughout my um, childhood and teenager, <laughs> I didn't hate myself ever. Right. Like I was actually a very confident young person, which I think is quite uh, different. Uh -huh. But then the hatred came later. Because, oh, really? Because I feel like. Oh. was at school and high school and uni and stuff, I never hated myself. I never went through that, like, insecurity or whatever. But then I, I do feel that, like, everybody in the world has to go through a phase where they think, ooh, am I really the bee's knees? Am I really the shit? Because as much as it would sound nice to go through a very confident phase all your life, the thing is, is that you'd be a bit of a twat and that everybody in the world has self-doubt, no matter how they look or who they are or what their job is or how much money they have or what they do. So I think that I did have some feelings where I sad about myself a few times. That uh, makes one of us. Mm. Um, okay, so that's not true. Do you want to get deep? I first hated myself. What a horrible, horrible question. Mm. Let's start with another one. Okay, mm. Rosie. I just had one on the tip of my tongue. Mm. Um, what have you got with me? Anything? Rose. Yeah. First of all, you're chewing cinnamon gum. Yeah. You know I don't like it. No. Mm. Oh, thank you. The hammer puss. Thanks, hammer puss. Okay, Rosie, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. No. It's okay, we'll right. never do that. We'll never raise a hand to a woman, or a dog, or a man, <laughs> or anything in between. How PC of you? Okay, I'm ready. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Hollybrook. Okay. If you could change yep. one thing about your wife, what would it be? Hmm, boobs, I think, are great. So They're very not, tender not and swollen those. right now. Um, not boobs, very not big. the nipples. The nipples I are perfect, let's be honest, I the nipples would are perfect. Change. Shannon Cammy would agree. <laughs> I think I would, hmm, hmm. I would change the fact that I would like you to be confident always and I would want you to feel great about yourself forever. Hmm. Is that a cop-out answer? I feel like it is. No, I think that's fair enough. Cool. Okay, Brazy, if you could, okay, if you could change one physical characteristic. Physical. About me. Yeah, physical. What would it be? I would, I've got the best answer to this, obviously, yeah. if I were to change one physical characteristic about you, yeah. what I would do is sort out your problem with your rotated pelvis and leg, Aww. so you would never have to go to the chiropractor, yep. you would never have your leg locked during S, you would always sleep well at night, you would never have to take paracetamol when doing certain activity, <laughs> and um, you wouldn't have to have therapy, leg therapy, I mean, okay. like physical therapy for the rest of your life. First of all, I don't have a locking hip during sex. Sometimes in some positions. So right, my foot's locked before. Don't know why. Don't know when. Yeah, but do you remember that one time when I had to like literally be like, right, oh, no, I gotta lie flat. I know it's funny. <laughs> hey, I'm very wild. We never have to interrupt um, things. Okay, Rosie. Okay, okay, I'm feeling very OCD about this. Okay, look, I need a bit. I feel like there we go. I feel okay. like it was not even with our shoulder blades. It was making me it wasn't quite central. Okay, Rosie. Mm. If you could speak any other language fluently, which one would you pick and why? Oh, do you know what? I was thinking about this the other day, right? And I was thinking, okay, maybe it's just my school, but why don't we learn Spanish? Because when I went to America, everyone was speaking Spanish. First of all, I think it sounds crazy cool. Second of all, I thought, oh my God, I'd love to be like, hola, Spanish, 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 Spanish. I'd love it. I would. That's my like impression of speaking Spanish. Too. I think I would choose Spanish because, too. Um, in England, they teach you. Um, I think if you go to like good schools, they teach you. Is it Mandarin? Yes. Um, yes, it is Mandarin. And um, then we learn obviously French, German, and you can choose to learn Latin, Hola. which my brother learned. 
but they don't teach us Spanish over here, and I reckon over there... Rizzy, in the they States, teach us Spanish. It's the second language that you can choose in secondary school. I didn't. I didn't have the option. Really? I didn't, have the I didn't choose it. I choose German. Neither did my brother. He learned Latin, because if you're a doctor, all the um, pill antibiotics and stuff, it's all in Latin. So he knows, like, what the doctors talk about. Thank you for saying my hair's on point. Actually, that's a lie. It's not. My like, for some reason, percent. I look like shit today. You now sometimes makes it look much better than it actually is in real life. We've had um, a long day. My hair's a bit. Have okay, Rosie. When you know, we are meant to answer their questions as well. Just the, you, know. you can wait. When's the first time you attempted to steal? I stole one time, only once in my life, when I was really, really young. A child. My heart was it? No, because okay. you gave that to me willingly. That's not stealing if you offer it. Okay. Technicalities. And I'm not being funny, but people say I've stolen hearts, but they've always been given to me. I just have a huge collection. Um, I stole when I was really young. I was like nine or ten, maybe younger, and my friend had a shop. It's really bad, actually, and I stole some gum, actually, from their shop. I took it outside. My mum was like, where'd you get that gum? Did you buy it? I was like, yeah. She was like, no, you didn't. You stole it, didn't you? I was like, yeah. She said, go inside, put it back, tell them what you did and say sorry. I tried to steal gum at Safeways. It's so embarrassing. And I had to go in and I cried and I said, I'm sorry. I took the gum and I never, ever, ever stole again in my life. My mum did a really good job. Never stole again. I think it's because gum when you're young is not you think allowed. It was literally like 5p and I love gum. I'm a real gum guzzler. <laughs> for now. Gum guzzler? Is no. that what you are? Mm -hmm. Gum guzzler? Gum guzzler. Yeah, I really love chewing it's on my really gum. really sounds like something else. <laughs> Ew. Um, okay, so, Rosie. I love chewing on my gum. When was the first time you looked down there and realised that a penis was missing? I never. I've never had that moment. Oh, really? I had it. Do you know what I did? Do you want to know what I did? I was like, well, clearly I haven't got one and I want one. So I put... I knew I had a vagina I played, the whole time. I, no, I didn't. I wanted to have a penis. So I put one of the Thunderbirds 3 toys, because out of the Thunderbirds... I know. What Thunderbird was it? Was it 2? No, was it was the Thunderbird 3. three. three. The what orange one, because it's the longest one. I put it down there for a day to see what it would be like to carry some extra weight. Fell down my trouser leg, and then my mum asked me questions. Can I just that say was only last very, year, wasn't it? <laughs> I've lived a very hard life, right? Okay. Right, okay. Ask me another question. Um, cinnamon -y. Uh, I know. I don't know why you don't like cinnamon. Ask me something really... Everyone's like, what the hell? What? About your story? <laughs> hey, hey, if you want to get to know uh, me... I've got a question for you. You're going to get to know me. I've got a question for you. Go on. Okay. When was your most embarrassing moment in school? What was in it? In school? Mm. Mm. Well, like, that's high school, primary school, whatever. In... Ooh. Oh, I can remember my it's a bad one. I've had quite a few. I didn't bring it on myself. Someone brought it on me, which is surprising because I do embarrass myself a lot, but it wasn't my fault. I think one... Hmm, hmm. How about when there was a girl that threatened to stab me once and it was because her boyfriend fancied me and at the time I thought he was funny, so I thought that was what attraction was. Um, mm. And I think my most embarrassing moment... Was it? No. She didn't like me very much, but I ended up with that boy, so. Mm. <laughs> oh, I know what it was. Mm. When I had my first lesbian kiss, ironically, it was with the girl that hated me. <laughs> I know. Um, oh, well, that, maybe that's why she hated me. I hate her name, She by the way. wanted She's it. Got an ugly name. Don't say it, because so it might be someone's name. Freya! <laughs> You're so mean. That could be someone I could have offended. <laughs> it's only because my friend at uni had a dorm mate called Freya, who was really awful. And now it's like put, tainted the name for me. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I think we had a lesbian kiss and then it all went around the school and everyone was like, oh, you embarrassed. I was like, I'll pretend to be, but no, I'm actually really proud. Because it was the first lesbian kiss to happen in the school, I think. Well, like the, the first, first one in Yeah, you know, circa 2000 and like, Six. See, when I was in school, literally everyone knew I was getting on with a girl. Literally. Um, the biggest fight we've had, or oh, the last together. biggest one. Can't remember. It's been so long. Can you? Wasn't it about um? Um, what was it about? Was it several years ago at Christmas? That was a big one, wasn't it, Rosie? No, I think that's like our last big one. That was one. a huge one, wasn't it? Biggest so far, biggest to date. Nothing's gonna top that one. 
I don't know. I don't think we don't ever fight. I can't, I literally we've had all we've had our commotion in the early days. Yeah, of our I think we got it all out really. You we know, don't fight anymore. We just don't fight. No. It's got we don't. We, relationship. I'd say we like quarrel. Is that the word? I don't know. We like sort of. No, like, we don't even quarrel. We'll be like quarrel. Me, me, and then she's like, me, and I'm like, oh, sorry, I love you. And she's no, like, love you. We and get I'm like, like maybe slightly pissy at times, mm. but like not but really. I just think about it. Considering we work together and live together and spend all our time together, like even if we went out to the shop, we go to together. Like we don't have a break from each other. I'd say we rarely, rarely, rarely argue. We're just used to each other so much. Like, what's mm. your favorite thing to do together on a date? Says Jay Belly mm. Walston. I um, really like to watch a film. I love I'm watching such a, a classic. Film. My favorite day ever would be if it was rainy outside and we put the heating on and I snuggled up in a blanket and like a onesie and we watched a film and I had mm. a hot chocolate vegan with soy milk and marshmallows and. We just ate popcorn. Opinion on Romanians. What a question. Um, do fish get thirsty? What do you guys think? No, I don't think they do. Do they? Don't they absorb their H two O through their gills? Yeah. So if anything, as long as you keep, like, if they're freshwater fish, I wonder what saltwater fish do. They must just be used to the salt. Interesting. Do fish drink water? They. It's like, they, I, like still, it. I still don't know how chicken chest sucks. Yeah, you did. Stevie showed you a fucking video. Oh, I didn't yeah. even see that, by the way. I don't she want did. it. <laughs> Thank God for Stevie. Like, who would I go to if I didn't have Stevie? Any charm, I think, but I've not done it. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Here we go. Right, question time. Rosie. Rose. Hmm. What do I want to know about you? Has there ever been a time since we got married that you looked at me and regretted it? No. I have a different answer. <laughs> um, okay, Rosie. Did you ever have cold feet about marrying me? No. Never. I was surprised. I was expecting them. Never happened. What do you I mean you were expecting them? I, I expected, whether it was marrying you or whether I married someone else, I'd expect, if I was getting married, I'd expect to have, like, one moment where I was like, oh, is this right? But I just knew it was right, so I wasn't bothered. Rosie, if I didn't exist, mm. God forbid, mm. what celebrity woman, woman would you oh, marry? You know who it would have been if it was man? Celebrity woman, maybe Eliza Doolittle if she'd have me. <laughs> okay. She'd oh my god, I have fun. to tell you a story. So we were watching, um, what were we watching? What were we watching? We were watching know. something with Anna Kendrick in the other day. Oh, so I start, it's called cool. Watch It. Oh, when you were expecting. expecting. Yeah, well, you saw that dog doing the Instagram photos and looking better. <laughs> so I've got a massive, massive, no. massive, massive. Rosie, tickles. No. You can't. No. I've got a huge crush on Anna Kendrick because I think she's amazing. And I started saying, oh yeah, um, Anna Kendrick's really fit. Like, I really ship her and herself. Um, and Rosie was like, That's not um, what you're saying. She's not even pretty. Like, um, I don't know. I was like, <laughs> so jealous. Um, can you even consider your jealousy anymore? Because I think it's her. And she was there, just like, um, okay, um, why are you even looking at her tits when I've got great tits right here and they're swollen? And I was like, they're swollen. Rosie, oh, Rosie, and don't, don't be believe. so jealous of Anna Kendrick and I. Do you know I had the opportunity to interview her once and I don't know why I didn't do it? When? Do you remember when I was at 80 Computers? Yeah. And um, my man, well, my management, my network at the time was like, oh, Pitch Perfect 2 is coming out. You need to go and do it. Should we put you forward? And I was like, no, I'm busy. <laughs> You hate them. You turned out everything when I was Yeah, I did. I hate them. I'm going to get... <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so you've got a problem with Anna Kendrick, haven't you? Apparently she's not attractive. What did you say she looked like? A bird. A bird. Yeah, hot bird. Angry bird. An angry bird? She's not angry, Rosie. She's a very talented young lady. Yeah. Dog agrees. Dog agrees. Mm. Right, let's go back to the questions. So, come on, give us some hard-hitting questions. Are you more or less jealous now that you are married? I am, weirdly, probably, I'm not as jealous because I fully trust her. Well, ma, but, oh, ma, that's not to say that if a, excuse me, that's not to say if I thought there was a threat, I wouldn't get a little jealous, but I just wouldn't worry about it because I know that there's no way on earth, no way on earth, She'd ever Even act on anything. there's no logical reason for you to worry, sometimes you still, like, worry. I don't know. You worry about me and Anna Kendrick. There isn't, actually, there's that's, that's a good chance that's going to happen. It's a good chance it's going to happen. Uh, how was Radio 1? Radio 1. See you. Um, Rose, what's your favourite feature of Rosie? The off button. <laughs> Ow. Get a 
punch you in the vagina every time you annoy me. <laughs> um, what? Hmm, most embarrassing story. What was the most embarrassing moment that you and I have ever had in our relationship? Forget, when we were oh, together? Us. Yeah, you and me. Like oh. when we were dating, like an embarrassing faux pas or. Um, well, for me, it was probably when you were staying around my house in the early days and I did a massive fight in my sleep and then went, oh, sorry. I'm about to say. <laughs> Because really, really I want to like do that in front of you, and then literally my sleep went. I mean, really, like kind of half was, woke up and went. It, it, and then it, like, it, went back to sleep. I went back to sleep. Is your okay with that bone? By the way, it's that one that tastes like beef. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, we'll see each other for like ten minutes. Be a daring. You know, she really shouldn't have like as many carbs after nine o'clock. Um. Okay. Have you ever done something sexually with someone that you've immediately regretted? Yeah. That was a very quick answer, Rosie. Yeah. What is it? Whisper it to me, and I'll no. deem if it's okay to say. Whisper. <laughs> yeah. That's disgusting, Rosie. No wonder you're ashamed of it. No, go on, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, I really don't want to know. Tell disgusting. me, tell me, and I will, I will. <laughs> oh, Rosie broke someone's penis once. <laughs> If you didn't have such a bear trap, Rosie, maybe that was. Uh... I was gonna make the joke. It's that tight, but anyway. <laughs> How do you break someone's penis? What's wrong with you? Vigorously. Just look at it. Just go. <laughs> oh, actually, you probably did do that. Oh, that hurts my feelings. Okay. Um. Then maybe. No, Rose farted. Rosie did. On me. Rosie did. I've eaten cheese, right? And I think I'm becoming like more and more intolerant. The more I don't go. eat it, and I ate a pizza. So I once read that everybody in the world is lactose intolerant. It's just 